King George V bridge set the tone for the rest of the journey. Thousands of gallons of red-colored water were pumped into the air, while two red flares were lit at the highest available point. And just in case anyone didn't see the brigade's tribute, they certainly heard it. People lined the three-mile route all the way, while some preferred the comfort of their own home from which to wave and applaud. But it wasn't until well down Union Street that the crowds really began to build up, and the players warmed to every single cheer, with Alec McLeish expressing his appreciation of the welcome home. Uh, this means a lot to us when we come back and see crowds like this turning out. I mean, no matter how many times you win this, this court trophy or this type of competition, you always like to come back to receptions like this. The perfect way to end the season then? Fantastic. As a, a lot of people had written us off because we, our form in the league was pretty disappointing. But uh, we've won two cups, so it's not that disappointing a season, is it? The area in front of the townhouse was swarming with about 6,000 supporters hoping for a glimpse of their heroes. And Lord Provost Henry Ray and the Lady Provost were the first to greet the Dons party as they arrived for a reception. And how the fans cheered when Alec Ferguson and his players took their place on the townhouse balcony to show off the Scottish Cup. Inside, Saturday's man of the match, John Hewitt, posed for photographers with his wife Lorraine and their six-month-old daughter Gemma. And John shrugged off all the fuss and admitted that he now has other things on his mind. Do you, do you think now a, a match like that, John, will have consolidated your position at Pataudry? Uh, I wouldn't say just because I won game, I scored two goals and say, you know, what, consolidate your place. You've, everybody's got to go out and play every week and do their best to keep their place in Aberdeen side because we've got a good pool of uh, players at Pataudry. So what's next on the cards for you, John? A, a holiday, perhaps? Well, uh, maybe. I'm still negotiating terms with the club over a new contract, and I'll wait and see what happens then, and can we, I'll maybe go on holiday with my wife and my daughter. And so as the fans continue to express their thanks to Scotland's most successful football team, they remembered not only yesterday's gathering, but the events of the previous day. Here's Hewitt. An explosive start to the season for Aberdeen before injury for Fielders at Committee. There's Hewitt again, making room for the shot. John Hewitt, 1 0 to Aberdeen. Here's Peter Weir. Kid not quite so close to him this time. Weir testing Kid's pace. The great chance. John Hewitt. This free kick again poses danger for the Hearts defence. Played across by Weir.